Hi, I'm John Stewart, Chief Investment Officer of Farmers Trust Company. This is The Investor's Edge. The Investor's Edge, Market Insights with John Stewart is brought to you by Farmers Trust Company. Hi, I'm John Stewart. Welcome to The Investor's Edge. First up, the week in review, Revenge of the Bulls. Well, after an absolutely brutal first half of the year for stocks, the bulls fought off another scorching inflation report last week and mounted a decent rally over the past several trading sessions. Participation was pretty broad across the market spectrum, but the upside has been primarily led by growth stocks in technology, communications, and consumer discretionary sectors. Now, there are plenty of reasons being pointed to as to why stocks have rallied off their lows here. Falling commodity prices, peak pessimism, short sellers covering bearish bets, and also better than feared early second quarter earnings results. Now what comes next is anyone's guess, but we've seen this show several times already this year. This is the third time stocks have rallied more than 10% off their lows, only to succumb to further weakness as the overall trend has continued lower. Now that downward trend is still in place, and we continue to recommend investors stick with relatively defensive positioning until there is an improvement in the trajectory of earnings estimate revisions, which for now continue to weaken. For this week's featured insight, watch what they do, not what they say. Now I was trained early on in my investment career that market sentiment was a powerful tool in making good investment decisions. That's because investing is a game of expectations. It doesn't matter whether an earnings report is good or bad in an absolute sense. It only matters what the report is relative to what was expected. Pessimistic sentiment equals low expectations, which are easier to beat, and vice versa. Now, while this type of behavioral analysis was just beginning to attract attention 20 years ago, it's now fairly well understood by the majority of investors. All kinds of sentiment surveys are available to gauge whether investors are bullish or bearish. Currently, most of these surveys are showing extreme levels of bearishness across the investment landscape, meaning when asked, the majority of investors are saying that they are bearish. Now, when you look at what investors have actually done with their money, however, it paints a bit of a different picture. So far this year, flows into equity mutual funds have been quite strong with only some modest outflows in recent weeks. So we may need to see more bearish action, that is selling, before the market can put in a bottom. Looking ahead, Fed week is here again. So we have another Fed week on deck next week and expectations are pretty firmly set on another three quarter point hike in the Fed funds rate. There was brief discussion of the possibility of a full percentage point hike but that seems like a bit of a long shot at this point. Markets now seem to have come to grips with the fact that the Fed is gonna continue hiking interest rates in an attempt to rein in inflationary pressures. It's now just a question of whether inflation moderates before tighter monetary policy breaks the economy. Stocks have obviously already discounted some pain, so like I just mentioned before, it's a question of what's gonna happen relative to what are already rather pessimistic expectations. It seems unlikely the Fed will be more aggressive than what is already expected, so perhaps the stock market rally can continue at least through the end of this month. Once again, I'm John Stewart. Thank you for watching The Investor's Edge. The Investor's Edge, Market Insights with John Stewart is brought to you by Farmers Trust Company.